Good morning, everyone. My name is Rob DeVita, and I'm the Director of Athletic Communications at St. Francis College. I'd like to thank everyone in attendance for coming today and those watching at home on NEC Front Row. Today is a historic day as we are proud to announce our first ever women's soccer head coach, Justine Lombardi. This morning, we'll hear from St. Francis College Associate Director of Athletics and Senior Women Administrator, Maggie Martini, Director of Athletics, Irma Garcia, as well as Coach Lombardi. Before we hear from those individuals, here are a few notes on Coach Lombardi. Lombardi joined St. Francis College after serving as a women's soccer assistant coach at her alma mater, Quinnipiac University, for the past six seasons. While at Quinnipiac, Lombardi played a key role in the recruiting efforts of student athletes. She was also, also responsible for overseeing training aspects of the team, both physically and mentally, throughout the season. Over the past two seasons, Quinnipiac has thrived with Lombardi on staff. Last season, the Bobcats reached the MAC semifinals, and in 2016, Quinnipiac had its best season in program history as a member of the MAC. The Bobcats earned the number two seed in the conference championship and went on to advance to the MAC championship game for the first time in program history. Before returning to Quinnipiac as an assistant coach, Lombardi spent time at Bridgeport University as an assistant from 2010 to 2012. In 2011, the Purple Knights finished with an undefeated mark of 16-0-2 and made an appearance in the NCAA Division II tournament. Before her coaching career began, Lombardi was a member of the Quinnipiac women's soccer team, where she was a four-year starter and team captain for head coach Dave Clark. She graduated from Quinnipiac with a degree in health sciences with a concentration in sports medicine. At this time, we will welcome Associate Director of Athletics and Senior Women Administrator Maggie Martini. my heels. I'm about the same height as this. All right, so you guys know how we do things here. We're a little bit different. Can everybody hear me? We're good? All right, all right. Uh, I just want to, this is exciting, right? It's exciting. We're starting a new program. We got a great new coach here with us. Um, so just turn to the person on the left and the righty, give him a nice high five. Like, we're going to start this thing and we're going to have some fun with it. There you go. We're going to loosen this up a little bit. This is how we do. This is what we do. Um, but no, we're, we're really excited. Uh, we have, a, you know, we had a fantastic pool of candidates that came in that we were able to bring on campus. We had a number of people that were able to meet with them. And uh, Justine really stood out, you know, not only for her credentials on the pitch and off the pitch, but for her personality. And, and what we do and how we do things here is really about the right fit. Um, and, and we're about family here, you know? And so knowing that she's, she's played at a college, stayed there for a while, had a great, great recommendation from a lot of really great people. We were really excited and we felt right away that connection that she's the right person to get this program off the ground um, and lead us in the right direction. So we are really excited to have Justine here. Uh, we are super excited for what is to come for the program uh, for St. Francis College. The whole college is moving in this really great direction and we're excited that the athletics department, women's soccer, and Justine is going to be a big part of that. So I'm going to hand it back over to Rob DeVita. Um, but again, really excited. Thank you all for being here. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, and let's go Terriers. Thanks, Maggie. Um, at this time, we will now hear from St. Francis College Director of Athletics, Irma Garcia. Thank you, Rob. Um, so everything she said, I agree. How's that? Um, but we're excited to have you here, Justine, and I think that one of the things that stood out was the red dress. So you had the school color right from the get-go. Um, so that was uh, a, a plus. Uh, I just want to thank um, Maggie and Chase, the committee, uh, whoever was here, whoever is part of that committee, you did a fantastic job. It took a, a while, and again, trying to bring a new program is so important for us to get the right person, and I think we have that in Justine. Um, she understands family. She understands um, the idea of getting the right recruits and going out and getting as many recruits. So I think, Rob, you're gonna be happy. Bora, you're gonna be super happy. Um, and so, um, right from the moment she met me, I, she stood out out of all the candidates, so I really appreciate it. And plus, Quinnipiac, they used to be in the Northeast Conference, so I knew that they hired somebody pretty good. Um, I also want to take a moment to thank the president. I know he's not here, he was unable to make it today. The vision, there's a vision going on here. And um, 
Justine, you, you're, in, you're in good hands, besides, besides Tommy, because Tommy already told me cut it short because I got work for her. Okay, so, um, but the vision is really important, and for him to allow us to start two new teams, um, Andy sitting right behind her, um, with men's volleyball and then women's soccer, I think it just shows the commitment that we have here at St. Francis. Um, and remember, we're just like the Verizon peeps, I told you that in the beginning, you turn around, we're right there with you. So this program is gonna be built with all of us sitting here, um, and you got good people that are, are gonna support you throughout the many years that you're gonna be here. So it's gonna be fun times. Um, I also wanna take an opportunity to just thank all of you um, to be here and to see this, and many of the people who are watching, uh, I should say this way, just watching uh, especially your family that couldn't be here. Uh, it's just important to, for, for everybody to understand that you're part of something really special. And moving forward, we're going to be reaching out to every single one of you to support us as well. So, um, Justine, thank you for accepting. Uh, I wish you the best. I know that you're going to do a fantastic job. Thanks again. We will now hear from our first ever women's soccer head coach, Justine Lombardi. Okay. So I wanted to um, start out with a joke to kind of break the ice, but I don't know any, so I'm not really that funny, so sorry. But thank you so much for being here. Um, I really appreciate it. I just want to start out with a couple of big thank yous. Most importantly, Irma and the search committee for trusting me with this amazing opportunity. I'm super, super excited. And as Irma mentioned, th uh, thank you so much to the president and to everyone who was involved in getting this uh, new program off of the ground because long before I was even involved in this process, there were many steps being taken to make this happen. And um, I think it's a great, great opportunity for the school. Um, this is a big, big day in uh, St. Francis history for athletics and I'm so happy to be a part of it. Um, uh, my first, my first uh, meeting with everyone was absolutely amazing. I fell in love with the school on the first day I came in for the interview. Um, you know, this, it's a, obviously this is a good school. The city, I guess, is pretty cool. People like that whole thing. But really what makes this place is the people. And Maggie kept telling me that over and over, but she didn't really need to because it's, it's evident. And um, everybody's really welcomed me with open arms, and um, I'm happy to be a part of it. And I'm happy to bring in more good people to add to this family. Um, and I just can't wait to uh, get started to make an impact, a positive impact on the uh, community and on the college. Thank you. <laughs> Once again, I'd like to thank everyone for attending and watching on NEC Front Row. This will conclude our press conference for today. We'll have a photo opportunity with Irma, Coach Lombardi, um, Maggie, and selected guests. Uh, following the photo opportunity, Irma, Maggie, and Coach uh, Lombardi will be made available for interviews. Um, those interviews must be coordinated through me, um, and that'll, that'll wrap it up today. Let's go Terriers. Uh, thank you so much, and have a great day.